Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel, or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be my December book haul. So these are all the books that I received in December, and there's also some audio stuff here. So we're going to get into this video, because it's going to be a little long, hopefully not. But um, so I'm going to start off with two Bibles that I received for review. The first one from Crossway, and that is the Illuminated Bible Art Journaling Edition. This Bible, you will see a review coming on this, don't worry. Review is coming soon. I love this Bible, it's gorgeous. Um, you will see these little white tabs because I have to flip to these in the review for you guys. But um, I will say mine came a little damaged, and I see, that seems to be the problem with a lot of people who buy this Bible. But I don't mind because the actual dust jacket can come off because the Bible is actually designed with it on there already. So it doesn't bother me. But um, this Bible is stunning. It is a journal, single column journaling Bible. The only difference is is that this Bible features um, some illustrations on the inside like that. So I'm excited to start using this Bible um, soon. So I have that one, and I'll leave a link to where you can get it down below. I actually have a review on my blog, so you can go to my blog to find the links because it comes in navy, black, burgundy, and that green cover. Gorgeous covers. Um, the next Bible that I received is from Hendrickson Bible. I actually contacted them directly because they have some Bible studies that I really wanted to review, and um, I contacted them directly, and they were definitely open to allow me to review some of their stuff, so I requested a Bible and three Bible studies. So the Bible that I have is the KJV Expressions Journaling Bible. It looks like this. It reminds me exactly of like the ESV cross on um, the ESV single column journaling Bible, as well as the Journal of the Word from Thomas Nelson, but this one is more so double column I really do like it um I got it in the cloth hardcover if that if I'm not mistaken that's what it's called I love the design it's really pretty I have a review coming out on this really soon and um I probably will use this as like my strict uh reading bible because I do want to eventually read the bible from cover to cover I've never actually taken the time to read it from cover to cover I've tried it before and it was hard but um because I'm older now and because I am a little bit further in my walk with God I think that I um, have enough confidence to read it cover to cover and not be overwhelmed so this will probably be the bible that i use for that um also from hendrickson's like i said they have bible study so if you guys don't know i did a video on this bible which is the everyday matters um bible for women this is not a study bible a lot of people call it a study bible but it's not it's a regular bible but it comes with a lot of references inside they call them um spiritual practices they go through different there's 24 spiritual practices and different types of articles so you have your everyday matters um you have your everyday profiles which are just biblical women profiles of the women in the bible everyday reflections um which are different ways you can apply the word of god to your life and then q and a's that they you know they ask questions based off scripture that you can answer so i really do love this bible i use this bible a lot when i first started studying john and jane john and roman sorry but um now i use this bible when i'm watching like online sermons this one is the bible that i use but um you can click the eye on the screen to see the review on that though but, however, they have Bible studies that actually go with the Bible that talks about the 24 different practices. So, I have three of them here. And I will eventually be going through all of them with you guys. Um, but I'm going to do three at a time. Right now, I have the uh, Fasting and Stewardship Bible study. And the way these are set up is that you get... Okay, so here are all of the 24 practices written down. Um, but the way that it's set up is that you get three kind of chapters you get your introduction chapter which talks about the habits and in your introduction where is it <laughs> introduction you get your first um kind of topic you get four chapters of that and then you get your second one with four chapters of that and there are questions in here there are prayers and things to answer so i'm excited to really dive into this to start off with i chose three of the booklets that I thought that would work with what I'm trying to get better in. So I chose Fasting and Stewardship because I'm really wanting to learn more about how how to steward well over what God has given me to do, as well as to fast a little bit better. So um, I have that. I have Forgiveness and Reconciliation because this is something I really need to work on, like seriously need to work on forgiving people um, in my life. So I have that. And then I have this one, which is on simplicity and silence, and this is something that I want to remember. Keep it simple. Things don't have to be over the top, and I want to learn to be silent. Um, I am a very quiet person, 
but I want to learn how to properly be silent, not silent in a sense of like just being, you know, just not saying words. Um, I want to learn how to be silent in a more effective way, if that makes sense. Hopefully that made sense. But yeah, I have these three Bible studies. Um, and these are what they actually look like, the icons look like in the Everyday Matters Bible. So... Okay, so moving on, I have a Joyce Meyer book. Just just know every month or every other month there might be something from Joyce Meyer. Joyce Meyer has a part of her website where she does a lot of things for um, donational fees. Um, so like if her Bibles are like $80, you can go on her website. You can probably get them for 30 or 55 I know right now she has the um, one of her Bibles. It's not the Battlefield Bible. It's the other Bible that she has on sale right now and the deluxe covers for $55 on donational fee so you can get $55 or more but um, I normally go in there and look out see what kind of audios and stuff she has and this month it was a devotional so it's the power of being thankful 365 devotion for discovering the strength of gratitude I like devotionals I mean devotionals I feel like are fun to use they're great to have um, this one does not come with a bookmark but it comes like that and I like that it has prayers at the bottom I love prayers and devotionals because they allow me to um, prompt my own prayers. I definitely use prayer, I call them prayer prompts in a sense, where they help me to pray something else in my life. So, um, yeah, I like this. It feels like it's really nice paper and I can really have fun with highlighters and pens. So I have that. Um, okay, moving on, I am going to start off, where am I going to go? Hmm. Let's start with this. So I have this book right here from Erwin Raphael McManus. I talked about this in my January reads, but this is The Way of the Warrior, An Ancient Path to Inner Peace. And this is just about having inner peace and learning what inner peace is. Um, I'm excited to dive into this. I am reading this for the month of January, so I can't wait. This book does not come out till February 26th, right? Yes. 22619. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. 22619. But um yeah, this is an arc. And an arc for you guys who don't know is an uncorrected copy. An arc basically stands for advanced reader copy. So sometimes an arc can be a finished copy or an uncorrected proof. Um so this one definitely says uncorrected proof, not for sale. So there might be um typos or stuff like that in this book. It's not a finalized copy. So I'm excited to just dive into this anyway. Next, we have Moody Publishers. So I have four books from them, and three of them did not come from their blogger program. I actually emailed them directly. So they do have a blogger program. I'm sorry, before I get to that, I didn't even talk about this book. I got this from um, Waterbrook and Mount Noma. They have a launch team. They used to have a, a website called Blogging for Books, but that is completely now taken down. Um, and now they have a launch team. So if you are interested in signing up for like their launch teams, they do... Uh, Christian fiction, biblical fiction, they do non-fiction books, so I'll leave a link to where you can sign up for that, so that's where this is from. Okay, so moving on to Moody. They have a blogger program called MP Newsroom, where you can sign up as long as you have a blog and um, do reviews, and you can request books. So the book that I got from them is an Advent devotional, and this is Unwrapping the Name of Jesus. I cannot say her name. Here it is. Um, but she's well known here on YouTube. Um, and she also has a Bible study, which is called He Is Enough, which I do own, and I love it. Um, but, yeah, we have this. This was a really pretty devotional. This was all about Advent, and I've never celebrated Advent. I never honestly knew what Advent was. I like her devotional because it's set up into four weeks in five days. So each week you have... Um, the, f the introduction to the week which gives you some activities and things to pray and then you have something to read for five days straight and then on the sixth day there's like a closing for you to do um, some weekly activities so this is definitely a devotional that's very much interactive you guys know how I feel about interactive books I feel like books that get you um, to interact with it help you to understand and know more so great read um, I'm gonna definitely go back and read it again next Christmas for Advent so we have that then again, like I said, I contacted them directly because I'm working on a video with biblical fiction books that I've read and want to review and do a whole like spiel on. And also because I love one of these authors and I want to do a whole video dedicated to her books because I'm going to literally read all seven of her books, like seven. I have read three. I need to read two more and then I need to buy the other two. But I contacted them because I really wanted four of their books. Um, 
two from my one of my favorite authors and two from another author that I never heard of but they seemed really interesting and they did get back to me but told me that they could only send two books at a time um, but something happened when they did send the first order it never got to me Pro probably something happened within transit or shipping because of the holidays so when they resent it to me they actually ended up sending me the third book as well so I have three of the four books so the third book that I wanted is called Queen of Sheba by Roberta Kells Dorr and this is all about the Queen of Sheba and I think it comes it belongs in like a series I'm not sure but um yeah I don't know much about the Queen of Sheba just that she came to see Solomon and that's all I know about her so if you know anything else about the Queen of Sheba let me know that that's honestly all that I know is that she came to see um Solomon I'm trying to see if there's any more information but no um I will say the font is really tiny but the cover stunning okay so moving on to the two books that i really wanted which are from one of my favorite authors and if you guys don't know i've read about her so many times on my channel tessa afshar um she wrote in the fields of grace and she also wrote pearl in the sand which i love pearl in the sand pearl in the sand is like one of my top five biblical fictions and then in the field of grace was really good as well um pearl in the sand was the story of rahab Sal salmon i think that's how you say his name and um it included joshua and in the field of grace is a story of Ruth Boaz and Naomi. So she had um, this duology, and a duology for those who don't know is basically a book series that only has two books. So um, it's a duology, and it's called Harvest of Rubies, and it seemed really interesting. It's one of her Old Testament. Um, series. She has four Old Testament books and I believe three New Testament. That's seven, right? Yes, seven. Um, so she has four Old Testament. So now I have all four of her Old Testament books and then I have one of her New Testament and I need to pick up the other two, which the other two are called Bread of Angels, which I believe that one is on Lydia, who is the one that created the color purple. Not created, but you guys know what I mean. She did the purple fabric. And then um, what is the other one called? Oh my gosh. I can't remember what the other one is called. It'll be on the screen. I cannot remember it. But um, that one is about the woman with the issue of the blood. So that one. So I want to get those two books so bad. But um, these are about the prophet Nehemiah. So um, this one is called Harvest of Rubies. It's the first book in the duology. This one is about the prophet Nehemiah, his cousin, um, Sarah, and her soon-to-be arranged husband, Darius. Um, and I'll read the back of it quickly for you guys. So it says, Remarkable talent threatens to cloud a life. The prophet Nehemiah's cousin has been catapulted into the center of the Persian court, working long hours, rubbing elbows with royalty, and becoming the queen's favorite scribe. Not bad for a woman living in a man's world. But a devastating past has left Sarah believing that God doesn't love her and her achievements are the measure of her worth, a measure she can never quite live up to. Darius Passagarde, guard, guard, I don't know how to say it, um... You guys see that last name right there. Yeah, that name is accustomed to having his way. A wealthy and admired aristocrat, the last thing he expects is an arranged marriage to the queen's scribe, an intelligent woman who scorns him. Can two such different people help one another overcome the idols that bind them? So this just sounds so good. I will be doing a vlog style video on how I annotate. You can click the on screen for that video. I did a video on how I annotate my biblical fiction. So I decided that I wanted to do another video on that, but doing a vlog style. This book has 27 chapters, so I'm going to do a whole complete video of me like reading the, the book, discussing it in the video, how I highlight and all that, what I'm highlighting. So expect that probably in March because it's going to take me a minute to edit that video. It's going to be long. So yeah, but we have the first book. And then I have the sequel, which is called Harvest of Goad. I am not going to read the back of this because I don't want to know what happens because it's about the same um, characters, Na Naima. I'm saying Naima. <laughs> The prophet Nehemiah, Sarah, and Darius. I'm sorry if you guys heard that car. My neighbor's car, like their garage, is literally right next to my window. So I apologize. But yeah, I love the covers. Her covers are stunning. Okay, so moving on because that was pretty long-winded. Um, we're going to go on to Book Look Bloggers. So Book Look Bloggers is a program that works with Thomas Nelson as well as Zondervan. They work together. They're all under the same branch company, but um, they have like different publications. So I do have one from Thomas Nelson, and all three of these are devotionals. So you know, I love devotionals. So this one is Jesus Our Perfect Hope from Charles F. Stanley. This is a yearly devotional. So this is dated by the, oh, what's that in the back? Uh, okay, I thought that was something special. Oh, there's like no paper in the back. I did not know that. I Listen, you guys. I reviewed this and did not know there was a note section. Like, legit. That's so cute. But, um, anyways. So, 
here's how that devotional looks it's really nice um i like that it comes with you know the basic of a devotional but it also includes like the thing the like the key point to remember as well as little prayer prompts and i call them prayer prompts because they're really tiny and i use these like here to um prompt me to pray things and it does come with a brown bookmark so i like devotionals we know this you will see soon how much i love devotionals the next two are from zondervan so this one is fixing my eyes on jesus jesus daily moments in his word by ann graham lots it's a yearly devotional and it's so pretty i love the color i'm not gonna lie i thought it was a little smaller but i'm happy it's not and um yeah i like this a lot it does come with a bookmark and it's brown of course i thought it was gonna be burgundy but it's a brown bookmark um and the only difference with this one is it doesn't include include like the key point to remember or a prayer prompt but i think this will be great to um write in and stick my sticky notes in and things like that that's going to be fun i like taking devotionals and like writing all in them i do i really do but um the last one is one for engaged couples which is preparing your heart for marriage devotions for engaged couples by gary thomas and I'm engaged, um, if you guys didn't know. Been with my fiancé for six years. Um, we are going into another year of being together. Um, and we've been engaged for a while, but um, I'm learning over the, the over the years that have come that I'm, I'm very grateful that we didn't rush marriage because I was ready to get married. Like, I was ready to get married back in 2015 um, because I had our son in 2014, so I was ready to get married. But I, I'm so grateful because I honestly believe if we would have gotten married when we, when I wanted to, we either would have ended up divorced or we would have been struggling a lot because there was a lot of things going on with between us um, and a lot of things personally with myself that I needed to understand and grow out of. So I'm very grateful for that. And, um, you know, I'm not going to say it's easy because sometimes I get pissed off. I'm not going to lie. There are moments where I'm, I'm like, all right, God, what, what's going on? I'm ready to get married. Like, even if I got to go to a courthouse, it's to that point. I know I desire a wedding, like a full-blown wedding. But I know that I also want to have um, a true marriage. I don't want it to be just for show. And I know marriages, they struggle. But um, I want something that's built on a real foundation so i'm grateful that i have the opportunity to um prepare my heart for that in the right way and not in the wrong way if that makes sense but yeah i have this devotional and i like this devotional because it's broken down into specific chapters let me see if i can get to it for you guys so there's part one which is about god's plan for marriage sorry if you guys heard that um there's part two which is about preparing your vows and then part three which is about the wedding vows um, and then it goes on to like wedding day meditations for her and for him. There are just different things. And I like that this Bible gives you prayers to pray together as well as questions for reflection. And um, these are things you can really like ask one another. It's like describe positive qualities of marriages that you witness. What did you what did or do you like about these couples relationship what inspires you about the way they love each other what two or three things are you looking forward to most about your marriage um you know it gets into talking about your personal life it's it's talking about romance and sex and all of that and commitment um you know share two or three lifelong dreams with each other how do you prioritize prioritize these dreams like it really helps you set a true foundation for your marriage and that's something that I really want my fiance and I used to talk a lot about weddings and you know marriage and kids and stuff and then I got pregnant and then things happened <laughs> and then we just we stopped having the connection that we used to have and I really do want to get back to that but I want to do it the proper way um so yeah I'm glad I have this and I do want to get into this really soon with him with him and also alone on my own so that's that I'm sorry I was rambling on for a while um these are from one company so i'll show those afterwards um the next two books i have are from bh books <laughs> bnh books um i have two so i have running from mercy which is jonah and the surprising story of god's unstoppable grace and this is by anthony j carter i want to actually read this this month because we're studying the book of jonah next month and i think that this will be a great book to read to further understand the book of jonah so i'm excited to dive into that and i like the cover the cover is like really really cute and adorable like no one can tell me that this cover is not cute just saying um and then also 
I have Remember God by Annie F. Downs. She is a woman that wrote 100 Days to Brave, Looking for Lovely, and Let's All Be Brave. I have not read any of those. I own the ebooks for all of them. Sad, isn't it? But I wanted to get this book because it's pretty. It's a pretty cover. And it's it's pretty. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's pretty. Um, But it says, I know God is loving. I know he is good. I believe he is big and powerful. But sometimes I wonder if he really... If he really is really kind, really deeply always kind, is he? So it just really talks about, um, you know, questions we always tend to ask ourselves when we feel like we're not close enough to God. And, um, you know, I think this would be a great one. I don't think this is an interactive one with, like, questions. Yeah, it's not. But I'm still looking forward to reading this book. Okay, guys, so the last one I have, I had to, I had to go get quickly because I totally forgot about it. But um, it's called The Silent Noisy Night by Jill Roman Lord, illustrated by Kelly Bremer. My son and I read this for Christmas, and I adore this story. It was so cute. It's basically about how it probably wasn't a silent night when Jesus was born because you had so many animals. So it talks about, like, the animals, like sheep, raccoons, coyotes, and crickets, um, and how people probably were, like, happy and screaming and stuff like that, and camels and stuff so the birds and stuff like I, I i thought it was a cute read we enjoyed it so i have this one and the artwork is stunning okay guys so now i have two books from baker books and one from chosen they're all from the same kind of company they're all under baker publishing books baker publishing group sorry is what it's called but they have different divisions which are which is baker books um there is oh you know what i totally forgot a book so let me grab that it's over here somewhere but um, there's Baker Books, there's Bethany House, there's Chosen, there's Revel, um, and I can't think if there's any others. I don't think I'm missing any other books, though. No? Okay. I think I have everything. So, I take that back. I have two from Baker's. <laughs> yeah, two from Baker's, one from Chosen, and one from Bethany. So, I'll do the two from Baker first. Um, so, the first one from Baker Books is The New You by Nelson Searcy and Jennifer Dykes Henson. This is a guide to better physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual wellness. I like books like these. I haven't read them yet. I need to. Yep. Got that one. <laughs> so the next one that I have is True You, Letting Go of Your False Self to Uncover the Person God Created by Michelle Derusha. I think that's how you say that. First of all, love the fall vibes going on with this cover gorgeous cover um and secondly i love the subtitle i just think it's a really good book about being you know yourself it says to clutter your heart mind and soul let go of busyness and false identities and grow in your relationship vocations communities and intimacy with god beautiful i can't wait to read this um i'm excited to read this like honestly i'm really excited to read this there are 10 chapters bro and it's broken up into three different parts know the tree the f I don't know what that word is. Something about the soul <laughs> and shaping. So yeah, I'm excited. Then I have this book, which I technically already got an e arc of like a month, a couple months ago, but they had a physical copy, and I was like, I need a physical copy because I love the book. Um, so it's Bill Johnson's and Benny Johnson's Raising Giant Killers: Releasing Your Child's Divine Destiny Through Intentional Parenting. Um, honestly, the cover. Is why I wanted a physical copy. Do you guys see him with his little cape and sword? And then her over here with her, I'm sorry, her over here with the little shields. And how like they're just standing there. Oh, just so cute. And this is definitely like reminds me of my son. And how he likes to like fight and be a, uh, um, you know, uh, he just likes to fight with capes and stuff. Like I love it so much. So I'm excited to dive back into this further. I'm a mom of one, um, and I pray to have more kids eventually, but yeah, I can't wait for that. Um, and then from Bethany House, I actually got a fictional novel from them. This is a, it's a Christian fiction, but this one is more so a romantic suspense. Um, I can't remember if I hauled this, I'm not gonna lie, that's why I'm adding it, because I can't remember if I hauled this last month, and if I did, I apologize, but this one is called Mind Games, it's by Kaylee Quinn, I'm sorry, it's called Mind Games. It's the first book in the Kaylee Quinn Profiler series, and it's by Nancy Mahel. Mel? I don't know how you say that. But it's a romantic expense, and I'm excited to dive into this soon. Again, if I hauled it last month, I apologize. Alright, so the last few things are all from Our Daily Bread, and I like Our Daily Bread a lot. But before I get into that, I do have this one here, which is from Union Gospel Press. This is just my Sunday school booklet. I paid for it. I bought it. 
yep i bought my mom the teacher one i got the student one we are a little bit behind you know we i didn't get this till the end of december so you know i have to do january and february so this is something that i'll be incorporating into my devotional times um, i'm going to be purchasing the ones for the spring and summer as well so yeah i have my bible study son i keep saying bible study my sunday school booklet okay so now on to our daily bread um you guys know I like our daily bread they have a store um that they do separately where they do a lot of things on donational fees um which you, can, you don't some of them you don't have to pay for anything for some of them you have to give a specific amount um they have artwork they have audio stuff they have dvds they have calendars i literally have two of their calendars i have this one here which is a 2019 one from our daily bread and then i have the other one which is on my wall but it's a different one it's the bible lands um one so yeah so they have like a bunch of stuff they got tote bags shirts everything um but i went crazy because they had a lot of stuff and i wanted some <laughs> so that's really all i can say so the first thing i have here is a walkthrough um advent 31 inspirational readings this is just basically um a devotional it tells you how to use it in eight steps which is quite a lot of steps um, and then you basically get your devotional. It tells you some things to read over here, more information about what you can read, what to do next. And then it gives you space to write. So again, it's a devotional, but it's an interactive devotional because they have the lines in there for you to write with. Um, also, I got more books because I like books. So I have Our Help which is devotions on struggle, victory, and legacy, including 45 African-American authors. I'm, I'm African-American, um, so yeah, I just I thought it would be a great one to read in February for Black History Month, and it's devotionals written by African-American people. I just think that's so amazing that they did that, and um, I like that this is interactive again. It has your devotions here, but then at the end, there is a prayer, there's a question of reflection, and then there's further scriptures that you can read that's outside of that key scripture. Again, I like devotionals. I'm going to do a whole video on devotionals because I feel like devotionals are essential, but again, they're not essential. They're like optional, but I feel like everyone needs it. Um, but you shouldn't just study with a devotional. I'm going to do a whole video on that. But um, yes, I have our help. Can't wait to get into this in February. Definitely going to be a devotional I read for the month of February. Um, let me move things around, put my phone there. So we have this one, which is called The Family Bible Devotional, Stories from the Bible to Help Kids and Parents Engage in Love Scripture by Sarah M. Wells. And I got this because my son and I, we love having quiet time together, reading the Word of God, um, reading little fun devotionals and stuff. I got him a lot of devotionals. And this one is geared towards families. So it talks about different things. So it's like setting up the story. So this one says Moses and Passover. Um, then it tells you what to read. So they give you the actual scripture text in either the NLT, the message, or the NIV. I'm not sure if they use any other translations. That's a good one to find out. So they use the, yeah, they use the message translation, the NIV, the NLT, and the New Revised Standard. So I like that they actually give you the text in the book. Um, there are tons of questions to discuss, and then you have closing thoughts, prayer prompts, and then an activity to do, um, and then like a question concerning the text. Um, so I just, I think this is great. Probably for older kids, my son is four, but um, I still think this is a fun way to get the kids into Bible study, um, as well as, you know, your spouse or whoever. Um, and then the last book I have is this one. This is Thoughts to Make Your Heart Sing by Sally Lloyd-Jones and Jago, forwarded by Tim Keller. This book is so cute. So this is um, 101 Simple Yet Profound Thoughts on Faith. It's perfect for devotionals, like devotional time or, um, you know, mini Bible studies with kids. I just think this book is gorgeous. This is said to be a companion um, to go with the Jesus Storybook, which is this one, which I also got from the Our Daily Red store months ago. Um, so these are said to go hand in hand together. You don't have to do that. This one is an actual story Bible. Um, when this one is just short devotions, so I love the artwork in this. It's really pretty, and um, I just my son loves giraffes for some odd reason. So I think that's a cute picture. Um, so you know, a little short devotionals. Uh, the next thing I have are oh, wait, I do have another book. It's hiding. So I have this one, which is Praying the Prayers of the Bible for Your Everyday Needs by James Bank. I actually did pay five dollars for this book. 
Um, this book was not what I expected. I expected it to be a little bit bigger. But, um, you know, this one literally just goes through different scriptures for different topics. Do they even have a content section? Yeah, they do. So, prayers for praising, prayers for saying thank you, for drawing near, for saying you're sorry, for finding strength, for your help, and for blessing. So, I like that. I, and it's a cute little one you can throw in your purse and keep with you at all times when you need to pray something quickly or you want to, you know, give someone an inspirational scripture. So, that's probably what I'll keep in my purse. Um, so I had three audio CDs for my son. One is not here. I don't know what happened to it. So I did place another order, but, um, I have two of them. So I have the Sunday school songs, volume two for kids, as well as the Christmas one for kids. So I have these two audios for him because my son loves music. We actually played Christmas music when we were decorating the tree. Then I got two for me. Um, so then I have God with us, which is an instrumental celebration of Christmas. And then I have this one, which is Joy to the World, 60 Best Loved Christmas Carols. And I believe there are three discs in here, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three. Yeah, three discs are in here with um, over 60 songs. With 60 songs. So I like that. And you guys know I like instrumental music when I'm studying, as well as um, the sounds of nature. Amazing. So then lastly, I got a bunch of little booklets from Discovery Series. And I'll leave a link down below to where you can get them. They are completely free. I love them. I have a whole basket, which you guys will see when I do my updated um, book self tour. That's coming soon for probably February. But um, yeah, so I'm going to share with you guys because I have quite a few of them here. So this one is the history books. This goes through Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. This is by Trumper Longman the third. So we have that one. What if it's true what Jesus means for you? A message for all time, understanding and applying the Bible. The Sermon on the Mount, Being Remade from Within by Oswald Chambers. This one is The Real Gift of Christmas by Dan Schaefer. Um, and I have the large, as I was saying before my camera cut off, I have the large print and the mini one, so they're both great. I like them. Um, the large print is better for those who need um, bigger words, but I don't mind the mini print. And I like these to use them as like mini studies and devotionals. They're really great. They go, there's no more than like four chapters in each and they really go in depth and I just, I enjoy them. So we have that one. Um, this one is The New Life, The Transforming Power of the Gospel by Constantine Campbell. Following Jesus, Relationship or Religion. Love that. This is by Mart Dehan. Pray First, The Power of Prayer and Sharing the Gospel by James Banks. And he is the author of Praying the um, Prayers of the Bible book. So I have that. And I need to just put this to the side because I'm doing a series on that. The Surprising Side of God, Rising Above Our Expectations by Bill Crowder. C.S. Lewis, The Story of a Converted Mind. So this is just about C.S. Lewis and how he converted. Life to Come, The Hope of the Christian Faith. Another one from Bill Crowder, The Mockery and Majesty of the Cross, which is phenomenal. I love this design, this like style. Oops. <laughs> is Jesus God? The Answer Matters. Question Skeptic Ask About the God of the Old Testament, which is a good one. How can I know God through his book? When anger burns. How can I share my faith without an argument? Which is sometimes hard for people. A lot of people, when they talk about Christianity and God and faith, they tend to get into arguments. And we're told not to do that in the Bible, but we do it anyway. Um, celebrating the wonder of soil. And then the Trinity, the blessings of God's grace, love, and fellowship by Warren Weisberg. Worsby? Worsby? I think that's how you say that. Worsby's. Um, so yeah, I have a bunch of these. Let me see if I can grab the container. Hold on. Okay, guys. So, I have a bunch of these like that are sitting on top from them, which is all about prayer. Because I'm going to be studying more deeply into prayer soon. I'm going to put those to the side. But, here's my little container, you guys. There's literally um, probably close to 100 or more than 100 in here. Um, and I mean, they're all different types of miniature studies. What's this one? This one is Judas, the son of darkness. Like, I have so many in here. It's ridiculous. Um, and they have more that they don't even give out in booklets. This one here is Out of the Ashes, Know the Enemy. So, like, I really do, when I say I love these little mini booklets, I love them. And I haven't even read that many. I've only read, let's see, one, two, I haven't read that. 
I haven't read that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, they even have the smaller ones like this. Ten reasons and stuff. Ugh, you guys don't understand. I love everything that they do. But um, that is it for this haul. It's extremely long. I didn't mean to make this a long video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see a review on any of the books specifically, let me know. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!